Red cars. Red cars in the garage. They look damn good. The E46 M3 is an absolute machine. Uh, being able to drive this a little bit more than just the loop at the shop, as I call it, it's a few mile test circuit. I usually do a few laps on during multi-point inspections and pre-delivery inspections to make sure everything is right. But for longer term projects like this car and something I really want to deliver in 100% quality to the customer, uh, with their permission, of course, I do a few runs to and from the house, simulate some real world driving, some stop and go, some city, some uh, some highway usage, kind of everything under the sun to make sure everything's working right. I wish I could have had the top down today on my way home. It was about 62 degrees, which is now very cold in my head, especially in the month of May. I'm used to summer hitting in May, but in California, it doesn't. It waits until June, whereas Ohio, it can start as early as, as mid to late May. But the 04 Imola M3 convertible six-speed is back at the house, running very, very well. Had the alignment today, and I do have a bone to pick with that. To get this car to go straight, you have to steer a few degrees to the right, which is extremely frustrating, and in my opinion, unacceptable for what we pay for this. So it will be going back tomorrow to have that corrected. Friday morning early, I've got the leather specialists coming out. A few very minor things. We've got a little bit of a mark here on this armrest pad. There's a couple marks on the bolster, the thigh extension here on the seat. Uh, very minor imperfections, 19,000 mile car, uh, almost 20,000. I do not want to put the 20,000th mile on this car, so I've got about 120 to go and I will not drive it that far. We'll let the customer hit that milestone. I've got to still put in that new shift knob and then this plastic um, entry sill on the left side will be going in probably tomorrow or Friday. So car's driving great. We've got a few small things to do. It has come back from Elite Finish. Uh, the detailers, the paint is looking unbelievable. Imola Red is a dark enough color that it um, picks up plenty of scratches and imperfections and swirl marks. And if you follow Elite Finish on Instagram, and if you don't, you should, they do uh, lots of great car porn. They did kind of a half and half on this hood, and they showed the original half that had not yet been corrected, and then the half that had, and it is a night and day difference. To somebody that knows nothing about cars, they would say, ah, it's a red car, they can't tell the difference. But to somebody who does, to somebody that can look at a car in the sun and tell if it's, you know, original swirled paint that's been rubbed with a Brillo pad for 20 years versus one that's been washed using three buckets and spray waxed and garaged and not driven in rain and all that. It, it is a really, really big difference. The front bumper has been refinished, I think, since I've really filmed this car in any detail. And my local shop in Escondido said that they had no confidence they could refinish this front bumper and have the paint match. So we found another local shop who we've been working with for years, West Coast Specialties here in San Diego and Miramar. And they said, yeah, we can make that match. And they did. It's freaking badass. Now, this lighting right now is not very good, but out in the sun, in real world, daytime type lighting, it matches beautifully. And thankfully, they did a wonderful job of reinstalling all the fog lights, trims, grill, uh, these little corner marker lights, everything like that. We deleted the front plate per customer request. And thank goodness, I hate reinstalling those. That's my worst thing in the world when somebody says, hey, take that perfect bumper that we just purchased and painted and made immaculate and drill some holes in it and put in this ugly ass rectangular plate frame because, oh, well, Gavin Newsom says we need it. Don't get me started on politics. These headlights are pretty much flawless. You know, they're 19,000 miles, so there's a few imperfections in them, but this car has been such a garage queen. Absolute pleasure to look at, pleasure to drive. Uh, it's just a magnificent car. So I'm very excited to hear his thoughts, the owner's thoughts, when he receives this car as early as Friday, depending on our availability, uh, to get the alignment corrected or the steering angle corrected. And then we've got a few small jobs, one of them which I'm kind of stressing over, or these side mirrors, they have a little bit of play in them. And apparently that's a problem on the E46, typical three series quality issues. So these don't even fold. Why M would do non-folding mirrors on this, I have no idea. Maybe we'll get a better indication of the looseness here on the driver's side. But as you go over bumps, you notice these mirrors. Oh, totally. Yep, you can hear it, you can see it. So I think I'm gonna have to take off whatever trim is on the inside, that little triangle. I don't know if that comes off. I hate that beep. That E46 beep is horrendous. Some of you are laughing right now because you own or have owned E46s. I need to get the customer's permission to code that off. It is just an assault 
on the ears. It's a horrible, horrible sound. But I need to remove that trim, figure out what's in here. If I need to take the glass out, take the mirror off, whatever needs to be removed here to fix that. Um, that is a very annoying issue that should not plague this car. Yesterday, we replaced the windshield cowl, the side aerodynamics bats, which are kind of hidden under the hood on the E46. And then, of course, I dropped one of the um, wiper nut caps, beauty cover caps that covers the nut that holds the wiper arm on, down into the climate box. And we removed the climate box to rescue it, and then it fell out. It fell somewhere in the engine. I cannot find it. It must have fallen out on the road because it's not burning up, and we've gone through this thing for like two hours looking for it. It's just gone. So I ordered a new one, and of course they're $21 for this stupid plastic little bubble that's shared with the Mini Cooper R30-something and the Rolls-Royce Wraith of all the other cars. So that came in today. We put that on. But this thing is ready to go. It looks unbelievable. Um, still needs a bit of a detail just because I've driven it a little bit now and I want to deliver it perfectly clean to the customer. There's a few fingerprints on the hood from when we put the um, cowl in. You know, you just happen to touch the bodywork and there's already cat hair on it. It's been here four hours. I don't know how Peanut's fur is floating around out here. But we'll get a quick wipe down on the car get this thing delivered um, as early as Friday. I'm still waiting to hear from the customer on shipping logistics. And then I am tasked with post paint correction, removing and replacing the M3 badge, which is kind of stressing me out. I'm gonna have to figure out how to get that off, clean up the adhesive and get a new badge on there. Anyways, that's gonna be today. We've talked too much. There's other things that happened at the shop, but it's late, my back hurts, it's time for bed. Tomorrow's Thursday, I'll get some clips in then and hope you guys have a good night.